guys we're gonna make a meal prep video today i'm trying a different filming technique let me know if you like it so we're starting step one with putting water with our little potatoes so that we can set them on the stove to boil this is just going to parboil just so that they have a chance to make sure they're fully cooked you're going to salt that water very heavily you want it to be salty like the ocean and then we're going to preheat the oven on broil on high and you're just gonna put your potatoes on the stove and bring them up to a boil and cook them for about 12 to 15 minutes. Then we're gonna start prepping our vegetables. Uh, we're just gonna do broccoli. I'm just cutting off the stalks and the stem. A really nice tip here is to save any peelings, uh, any pieces of vegetable, uh, like the stalk I cut off. I like to save that in a bag and freeze it for a vegetable stock later on. So here I am just chopping up the broccoli, getting them nice bite-sized pieces. So the reason I wanted to show you guys this recipe is because not only does this recipe feed four to six people, um, it's great to cook ahead of time, it's very quick and easy, and it's great to prep ahead so that you have lunches for four days. I know I have trouble remembering to eat if I don't have something ready, so this will help me just have a quick lunch when I'm hungry or things like that. Now you're going to prep a cookie sheet with some aluminum foil and some cooking spray. And after you've drained your potatoes, you're just gonna toss those on your cookie sheet, keeping in mind to catch any strays that fall off. And then you're going to add your broccoli on there with your potatoes. Just sprinkle it around, evenly distributed. Then you're going to grab some oil. Got a little trouble finding mine. You're going to Once you've drizzled your oil, you're going to season with some salt and pepper and a little bit of dried thyme leaf. Once you've added your spices, you're going to toss everything together to make sure everything's coated in the oil and spices evenly. The potatoes are still a bit warm, so use tongs if you want. I don't mind the heat. And then you're going to prep four steaks. Um, just on another cookie sheet lined with foil, sprayed again with some cooking spray. I'm just seasoning mine with salt and pepper on both sides. You want to start with some steaks that you've dried off with paper towel because if they have any extra moisture, they don't get a nice char. And do both sides and just pat the seasoning in.
Now it's off to the oven. The vegetables will go on the bottom rack and the meat on the top rack for about five minutes. Then you're going to flip your steaks and in for another five minutes. And then I move mine closer to the top rack to get a nice char. And then they're done. What is your go-to at-home meal?